Hey guys, Patrick here, and today I thought that I would tell you guys the amazing story about the time that I pretty much almost died, or I could have died, I'm not sure. This was a very confusing story, because we never actually found out what these people wanted, why they, you know, made those actions towards us, but... Um, I just wanted to start out by saying thank you guys for all the support on this last video. If we can get the amount of support on this video, then I would, like, love that. Um, but today I thought I would tell you guys the story about how we, and by we I mean me, my friend named John, who's been in a couple of our videos, he, he wouldn't mind his name being said. I know that for a fact because he's been in, like, a few of our videos now so me John and these two other girls I'm not gonna say their names we're gonna call one um, Alicia alright and we're gonna call the other one Leah so me John Alicia and Leah all decided to go for a walk this one night okay I'd say it was around like 10 30 11 maybe uh, Saturday night um, we were all just walking we were having a chat and there's this school that's right next to my house. I'm not going to give the name of it because, you know, but the school, there's a school right next to my house. Very old school. Me and John went there for, it's an elementary school. Me and John went there for elementary. And I'm surprised that, um, they even, like, still have it open. This place is literally crumbling to its feet. Like, it is a run-down school. There's spray paint everywhere. Um... Spray paint that is vulgar and kids probably should not see. Um, there are rappers' names spray painted everywhere. And I don't mean like famous rappers like Jake Cole or like Lil Pump or Kendrick Lamar or something. I mean like, you know, local rappers. Like there's a rapper spray painted name on there called Coxie Poo. So that pretty much just explains it for you. So, anyways, <clears throat> me, John, Leah and Alicia all decided to go to the school and uh, we sit down at these benches okay and we look across and there's this truck that's just chilling there and the skinny guy from what I can tell the skinny guy with his hood up walks over to the truck you know uh, I'm assuming he was talking to whoever was in there but he takes a few glances over at us. We just decide to not look at them, and we go to the other side of the school. Uh, we go over to the play set on the school, which is, like, I'd say a solid 30 feet away from the truck. And we're just talking. I don't even remember what we were talking about, to be honest, so just don't ask. We, we were probably talking about just, like, people at our school or something. So we were all talking. And um, something to know about Leah and Alicia... They, like, will just, they're not the brightest. But something to know about John is, he will literally, like, try and take on anybody. He is a big guy. Like, I've gotten into fights with John before, um, just for fun, not serious fights. Um, like, literally anywhere. We will just, just start scrapping out of nowhere. Don't ask me why. It's just kind of a thing, okay? We all just start scrapping. And, um... We look over, and this buff guy, like, I'm not even kidding, this man literally looked jacked, like, it was, like, crazy jacked, I don't even know if it was healthy how jacked this man was, he steps out of the car, uh, starts talking to the skinny guy, gives the skinny guy something, and they both just stare at us while they're talking to each other for a little bit, so, we decided to just continue on with our night, you know, we're just talking, and we were kind of ready to leave at that point, so we walk over to the benches, benches not benches benches which are actually way closer to the car so I, I don't know what we were thinking i think we just wanted to sit on benches instead of being curled up inside this little tube thing that was inside of the playset so we go over to the benches um sit down continue our conversation laugh a little bit like giggle then the skinny guy and the buff guy hop inside the car and the car starts up okay and we thought they were going to leave. It was kind of a sigh of relief, you know. We were starting to think that we could stay a little bit longer. But then out of nowhere, the buff guy steps out of the car, okay. And he is looking directly at us. Like, it was just obvious. His body was turned towards us. This time it wasn't just his head. It was his whole body. 
his arms were out, he had one hand in his pocket, and I'd say we were like 20 feet away from the car, and 20, 20 maybe like 25, 30, we were like that far away from the car, so we go, we like stay at the benches, and this guy's walking towards us, we're pretty scared, like we don't know what to do, and he pulls out the shiny object from out of his pockets. And at this point, we like knew it was either a shank or he was just trying to sh scare us as a joke. And then the skinny guy steps out of the car. He yells some name. I don't know what it was because I don't remember. I didn't really think about it that much. He goes, you know, what are you doing? The guy turns around. He's like, hold on. I'll be right back. And at that point, we just bolted it. We bolted it down out the playground at the parking lot this car chasing after us we run onto another playset uh jump the fence on that playset go down through onto another road and then we're, we just keep on running i think we lost the car at this point or i thought we did but then we go to this playground that's right by my house there are quite a few playgrounds in my neighborhood by the way like might i add there's probably like a solid four or five uh, we go into this one playground that's, like, covered by a uh, bit of snow. Because this was around when the snow was starting to be depleted, I guess you could say. Um, but there were a solid few snowstorms, so there was a, a few snowbanks. So we hide behind the snowbank as this car goes by. And we heard hear them just, like, screaming. Like, literally screaming at swear words. We are terrified. And that pretty much wrapped it up for them. They just kind of left. And after that night, you know, I was kind of in the mood to go home and play some COD. Uh, I don't even know what John was going to do when he got home. John's a very extravagant guy. He could be doing anything, to be honest. Um, not trying to make that sound sus, but he could literally be doing anything. John does, he has a lot of stuff to do, okay? Um, so we all go home. And that's pretty much the end of this story for today. Um, we probably would have gotten shanked if we had stayed there. Um, I'm happy we ran. Uh, felt like I lost a solid 50 pounds after, like, literally, felt like I lost a solid 50 pounds. Um, so, I hope you guys all enjoyed the story. Uh, thank you for all watching, if you even made it this far into the video. Uh, sorry for not uploading in a while. I haven't been uploading at all recently. Um, I woke up this morning, I was like, I need to pump out a video, I need to do something. So I actually did. But, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, love you all. Thank you for staying somehow within the five-month break I took from YouTube because I, I hate this platform, guys. Like, I literally hate it. I, I can't delete videos in the app now, which is quite stupid. But I just wanted to say thank you all for watching this video, if you did. Um, you know, comment in the comment section down below. I'd love that. Uh, just give me your overall thoughts on this story. Uh, I'll have more story time videos coming out soon. I have nothing else really to do. Um, but anyway, thank you all. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.